6 9 is not too different from a lot of others. You know, a lot of people are rappers, they want to become famous, they want to basically live their life doing their dreams, right? Their passion. And all too often, we fail to realize that we're not that special. You know, you are not that special. You are not that different than everyone else in this life. And I think that's a big reason why people don't quote unquote make it in life because they just don't stand out enough, right? There's nothing about you that's different enough or controversial enough for us to talk about you, for us to remember you. And as you hear on when you watch the news, right, they say if it bleeds, it leads. That's why the news isn't talking about, oh, somebody saved a ladybug that was trying to fly over a pond. Nobody talks about that, but they do talk about, oh my gosh, 10,000 ladybugs were smashed to death under the school bus where three children fell out the window, right? Because that draws your attention. It, it, it evokes a strong emotional response from you. So with 6 9 think about it. Look at his face. He has the jigsaw, you know, that guy from Saw on his face. He has 6 9 on it. He has 6 9 I don't know, over 69 times on his body. That's somebody who I respect. Number one, why? Because it, it just goes to show how badly he wants it. And a uh, quote that I really love is like, uh, you can have anything in the world if you're willing to pay its price. And I think that's what it is with anything in life. If you want something bad enough, if you work hard enough, long enough, you'll achieve it. And I think that's what 6 9 did. And that's what all these other rappers are doing as well. I remember Lil Wayne, um, there's a plane. I remember Lil Wayne, uh, in the early 2000s, I always thought he was crazy, but I, I respected him because I knew like his face tattoos were something that he did because he wanted to do it. You know, he already had the fame, he already had the talent, he already had the money, so there was no need to get that done, right? All the attention was already on him, but I find that now a lot of people are getting these face tattoos, a lot of rappers, because they want the attention and they see that, okay, that's what other rappers are doing, so let me do that so I can stand out. But the sad thing is that now that doesn't even stand out as much that becomes a part of the background so to speak because so many other rappers are doing it that you know it's it doesn't make you unique enough and just just a message for anybody who's thinking about getting a face tattoo i'd be careful because it's just in trend it's just a fashion now you know how many times have we done something or bought a pair of sneakers or a movie or a game or something just because everybody else is doing it or a coat but and then once everybody else stops we stop as well remember when those baggy t-shirts like 3xl 5xl or when everybody had like a name belt or when everybody had like a name you know earrings or rings or uh what else what else was in trend everybody had a sidekick everybody had a blackberry because everybody was on aim but now where is that? You know what I mean? So when you're thinking about doing something that extreme, you have to be all or nothing. And with 6 9 I think he's a great example of somebody who said, you know what? I want this. I want to stand out. Look at his hair. He has colorful, bright hair. All that is marketing. All that is branding. And this is just a message that if you want to succeed in this day and age, and I know I sound like an old fart right here, this day and age, but seriously, competition is so thick you know I just got off the phone with somebody and she told me that you know there were 600 positions available at Goldman Sachs and over 50,000 people applied for that position uh, for those positions and it's just like if you want to really stand out in life if you want to be your you know entrepreneur own your own business become an influencer whatever it is I feel like the days of you know accidental variety like you're still gonna go viral accidentally every now and then, but it's very slim. You have to put in massive amount of work and just always you know, have this question in mind. Why are people gonna talk about me after they see me? Why are people, what are people gonna feel? What, am, what emotions am I gonna invoke in people? But anyways, I wanted to keep this a five minute video. I just wanted to say, yeah, that's 6 9 So you could look at him and say, oh, he's crazy, he's stupid, he's a hoodlum, he's a, I just think it's massively, like that's just incredible branding but there are a lot of people who do get face tattoos who do have mental issues or who feel insecure or who feel that they're not being noticed you know that they want more attention but who doesn't right especially when you're in this world where people praise um 
success. You know, that's what it is. They praise success and anything beneath that, you're a quote-unquote failure, but you're not. So remember, you make your own rules. Anyways, I'm out of here. Bye.